We've been doing a lot of experiments this year with growing in the garden. We've got a small front garden and we've got a bigger back garden. And we put some raised beds, extra raised beds in, in February time, I think. And we were harvesting by the end of April. And we've been really enjoying growing there. It's such a nice environment. It's so convenient. It's so easy to water. And it's been a nice complement to the allotments. By focusing the garden on what we need in summer and early autumn, it's allowed us to focus the allotments on what we need for later autumn, winter and early spring. It's been really good. Let me show you around. So there's been a lot of changes in the back garden since I last did a tour. Let's have a look. Now I just remind you that most of the stuff that we're growing for autumn and winter is on the allotment, so it's mainly summer stuff that we're growing in the garden. And I've got to say the tomatoes in the back garden are absolutely stupendous. <coughs> Way better than the ones in the polytor. They're just absolutely dripping with tomatoes. I just don't really know what's going on here. But um, yeah, really, really amazing. And uh, even the early ones, we've been harvesting this one for quite a while and it's going pretty well. So yeah, tomatoes, fantastic. And these are Sweet Million and Tumbler. So then let's just finish the patio. So we've got some climbing French beans here. We've got a climbing centre cut squash here. And this is doing quite nicely as well. We've got quite a few fruits on here and we've harvested some as well. Um, really great. This is going to take over from the one in the polytunnel which we've been harvesting for a month, a month or more. And then some more climbing beans here. And then all of the early potatoes bar that tub there have been harvested. So we've just got Sarfamiras here and the King Edwards here. And they're all pretty good. We've had loads of blight warnings, but so far no blight. This, but I don't think this is blight. Um, they're just getting old now, these plants, even though um, they're really a main crop and I wouldn't expect them to get old so quickly. I think because we just had such a good spring, they're uh, a bit in advance. They flowered quite a long time ago. So in these beds, these were the salad beds in the last video, and these are now... Um, Radicchio, interplanted with uh, little gems. So there's quite a few radicchio in here. And then this has been replanted. That was a spinach bed. And that's been replanted with lettuces and spring onions. These are the sprouts grown for leaves and now grown for the um, sprout tops. And then I did have kale in this bed, but it just got infested with green flies. So I took it out and popped in some of these collets. And lettuces came out here and we've got some kales for winter. And then some more lettuces in here. Golden purslane, which has just suffered from the endless rain. And I I have actually got these little carrot containers and I was planning to actually give them a good try but then I kind of just stuck them down here behind these potatoes and just completely forgot about them so they're not doing they're not doing very well so then this bed was peas and it's now lettuces this bed was peas I think yeah and now it's spinach and it's an oriental Asian spinach so it shouldn't bolt. Obviously some lettuces, more peas was ne are now um, beetroot, more peas 
now lettuces and some turnip greens that are getting a bit eaten by slugs a few more little kales and some more lettuces and spring onion this is the main brassica bed in the back garden i just planted these little cuttings which are now pretty giant plants of perennial kale put these big stakes in for them because they will grow big these kales are looking quite nice and then we've got loads and loads of blueberries now harvesting them every day I'm really pleased with these some flowers down here and basically it's blueberries all the way along here and then it's strawberries all the way along there and then it's raspberries all the way along there and then these are our early main crop Vivaldi and these should be ready fairly soon you can see that these plants are getting a bit ragged and there's some more Vivaldi over here the cherry are finished and that is pretty much it for the back garden so it's really nice it's all in transition we have a few more transitions still to do so the next thing will be these sprouts coming out oh, i've got the grapevine that's looking really nice i'm very pleased with that and there's some blackberries here and some blackberries over there in that corner um but yeah so that will be the next thing to come out and then of course the lettuces will come out in autumn and uh, then they'll get replant replaced by all the winter planting down the side of the house all the cherries have now finished just got some perpetual kale cuttings here and so the only tree that we've got any fruit on down here now is this pear tree it's just in this container and it's got a pretty beautiful crop on it, I've got to say. These are Williams. Really nice. So then in the front garden, we've got apples. We've got perpetual spinach. We've got onions all the way around here. We've got squash. I think this is centicut and trumbacino. We've got sweet corn, courgettes, loads of onions all the way around, all onions, various uh, chards, chard, beetroot, perpetual spinach and then on these frames we're going to plant centre cut squashes here and here and that is most of what we've got in the front garden apart from some celeriac in here and a lovely little bed of kale anyway hope you like this quick video my name's steve this is the seaside allotment channel and i'll see you soon